Well, we'll be back, and we've got another wonderful guest for you. Uh, next, we have Jennifer Moss, and Jennifer is an author and published author at that. So nice to meet you, nice Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Yes, tell me about uh, your writing. Have you always wanted to write? Well, I've been writing ever since I was a little girl, and um, my day job is computer programming. I'm a web <laughs> developer. But I started writing fiction about five years ago, mm -hmm. um, and that grew into a series of mystery books, um, which I have here, the first of which is called Town Red. Wow, that's great. And they're published by Black Opal Books, um, and three of them are currently published, and the fourth is coming out in May. Hey! <laughs> yeah, just finished it. That's so. fantastic. Uh, what made you decide on mysteries? I've been a big mystery and police procedural fan for all my life. I love all the law and orders and oh, me too. Agatha <laughs> Christie's and I love figuring out the mystery and the puzzle. So that really drew me as a genre and I knew that once I did start writing it would be a detective novel, but it does have a little metaphysical twist. Oh, good, good. So, you know, it's not like the old Agatha Christie's. It does have some spirits and some psychic stuff going on. And so, <laughs> yeah. So That's it's fun. It's a little exciting in that way. <laughs> yes. So you have written three books already? Yeah, it's with all the same characters. It's a series, so uh -huh. it starts with Town Red. And they're based in Chicago because that's where I grew up. Um, and I know the city really well. And I actually worked with um, a lot of the Chicago police officers. They've helped me with my research and my background. Wow. And I got to do ride-alongs with them. And um, they're just amazing people. And they've given me, they've been so generous in the information that they give me because they're so excited that I'm writing about them even though it's a fictional well, series. Sure, <laughs> sure, that's great. I mean, everybody wants a little attention and they get very little <laughs> exactly. unless somebody's complaining about them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it does portray them in a very good light. So uh, what, uh, what is this first book about? The first book is um, the murder mystery is a husband and wife who die of natural causes but on the same evening. Hmm. So that's a little mysterious. And my um, detective is named Ryan Doherty. He's a new Irish cop. <laughs> and um, along the way, he meets one of the suspects named Catherine, who is a psychic. And um, even though she's a suspect in the murder, he's drawn to her, and there's a little bit of a love story in there, too. <laughs> That's great. That sounds wonderful. And then that carries on into the next book? It does. Then they become recurring way to characters. Go. The second book is Way to Go, and the third book is about a rap star who gets killed, and the title is Taking the Rap. And the fourth <laughs> book um, is called um, Friend of the Family, and it's about the Chicago mob. So I kind of tackle that whole aspect of the city. <laughs> do you find it's really interesting to do the research? I love it. Yeah, it is. That's almost half the fun, is to do the research, because I do like to get the details right yeah, in my writing. Great. That's great. A lot of times in fiction, people don't bother to do that, but you really, you really have to keep your person in the era that they're in. Exactly. And there's a lot of things that are different in each era. Yeah, so. I'm not a police officer, so I don't know <laughs> all the details and the procedures of what goes on. Um, so it's interesting to research that and talk to the actual police officers about their positions and that's great and their well, work. Uh, do they did they were surprised when you first came and asked them for talking about the book? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I contacted one of the police officers who I saw gave an interview to a local paper, uh -huh. and um, she was really open to talking with me. And we emailed back and forth, and then the next time I was in Chicago, I asked if I could come to the station, and um, she was like, yeah, come on down. And, you know, they kind of opened their doors to me and let me look around at the holding cells and ride along in a police car. And wow. It, was, it gives me a lot of good information to work with. <laughs> 
Now, do you think that these books would make a good movie? I would love them to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe even a TV series. Um, you know, I've thought about that, and that's something I would like to pursue. Yeah, because I watch those TV series, Castle and all those things. It's very much like a castle. It's, it's humorous. It has a lot of comedy in it, as, long, you know, as well as the actual murder mystery <laughs> and, and love story. So, did you have any training in writing, or did you just start writing? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> um, yes, well, I did not have training. And when I wrote my first book, um, it was not really that good. And my agent told me to take classes and join a critique group and learn the craft. Mm -hmm. um, and so I took a couple of years and did that. And then I went and rewrote it, and it got published. Um, wow. And I think a lot of um, aspiring authors do that. They'll just write a book because they think if they read a lot that they could write. And they try to get it published and they can't really get as far as they should. So now I teach workshops uh, for aspiring authors. Uh -huh. um, and it's all the basics that you need to know to kind of bring yourself from the amateur up to the professional writing level. That's fantastic. Because <laughs> I, I do mean, like to help others. You, do you that. need more of those things, really. It's, uh, that's really exciting. Yeah. I know that I, when I wrote my books, I didn't do anything right. <laughs> but they turned out okay that's somehow. Great. I just some, something within me just. I would just sat there and I said I didn't plan anything. I didn't have a beginning or an end. Or mm -hmm. I just started writing. And it just flowed into four books. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just had more fun with them. That's great. Yeah. So, so I, I just teach the elements of creating, you know, three-dimensional characters to plotting to voice and point of view, how to build your fictional world. And I do it in kind of a crash course of six weeks. Oh, great. And the next one starts in March. You can go to my website, jennifermoss.com slash workshops to see when the next writing workshop is. And I'm also working on bringing it online and doing it on video format so people can take my workshop all over the world. Wow, that's <laughs> tre tremendous. I I'm, I'm really thank you for being thinking of other people, sure, you know, trying to help sure. others. Because so I think we all have to do that. we got to stick together. I think so. I think it's important. <laughs> it's important to pass it on. You know, if you're successful in what you do, you have to help others as well. That's right. Well, especially it's good because I had to learn how to do it after I started writing. Right. Then everybody, I had to, oh, that's not the way you do it. And that's, that's not the I way you too. do it. That's not the way you do it. Oh, exactly. this is the way. Oh, and I think that's really common. You know, we have something in our head. We're inspired. Mm -hmm. We do want to just get it down. And that's wonderful. You should get it down. But then you also have to learn the craft. Because with any art, it's a combination of talent, technical training, and practice. So you have to have all three. That's right. And getting it started is so important. Too many writers, oh, I want to write it, I want to write it, I want to write it. But they don't sit down and put something on paper. Yeah. you got to put something on paper and then fix it, change it, do whatever you have to do. Exactly. But it has to, you got to start with putting it on there. Right. I even belong to a writing group that meets every Monday just to write. We get together in the library and we have an hour and so of just writing. And it's really inspiring. You wouldn't think that that would be, but it got me to write my fourth book. Because sometimes you're just blocked or you have too much going on at home uh -huh. and the phone's ringing and you're checking Facebook and whatever. <laughs> but when you set yourself that time every week to just write, it starts flowing and it comes out. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Maybe I should join your... <laughs> you should. <laughs> Oakhurst Public Library. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good. Say it one more time so people will will uh, know how to get to your workshop. My workshops and the um, silent writing group both take place in the community room at the Oakhurst Branch Library of the Madera County Library. Okay, and also we would sort of encourage you, if you're a mystery lover, these are going to be wonderful and you're going to enjoy them Yeah, look up much. my book series. They're available on Barnes & Noble and on Amazon. Your local library should be carrying them <laughs> and your local bookstore, but if not, ask them to order it. Um, and start with the first one, Town Red. That's great. It's great to have more than one because you begin to get excited about a story. You want to hear more. You want to right. find it. Yeah. So this is, this is wonderful. Yeah, the reason 
reason I wrote a series is because I didn't want to let the characters go. Good. You know, I wanted to know what was going to happen to them next. <laughs> so. Well, that's good if you need to know, then everybody's going to be excited about the same thing. You right. need to know them. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, did you have something else that uh, really wanted to make sure to get on to the uh, interview? That I'm just happy to be here, and I would encourage everybody to, you know, keep reading and keep writing, learn the craft, whether it's with my workshop or just learning it on your own. Um, you know, there's a lot of publishers out there that are looking for authors, mm -hmm. but they want them to be trained. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful having you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank coming you so in. Much. And I appreciate everything here. you said. It was really interesting. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>